Moving back to the uh, West Palm Beach situation. Oh, oh speaking of cunts. Uh, so this is the show that replaced us, and we have uh, no problem giving you a little taste. Yeah, let's see. This is what West Palm Beach uh, thinks is better than what we were doing for them, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it comes down to, Rod? Um, they little... play a lot of music and a lot of local traffic, and what else? Um, sports and entertainment news. They wanted a lot of that because apparently that's what the audience wanted in West Palm Beach. Yeah, they uh, they uh, uh, were clamoring for it, and we answered. Shut up. Little background on on these two guys. One of them was fired from that station allegedly for. Uh, well, he was fired. It, 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 we. That's what we were told, but it wasn't really on record, so I'm going to say allegedly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for allegedly being involved in some... Uh, Alleged allegedness? Substances. That, allegedly. That, yeah. So he, he was let go a couple of years ago, and um, the other guy was an intern for the morning show that originally was there before an they fired him. We an were, intern? We were replaced by, by an intern? intern? By the afternoon jock and an intern. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, wow. Dude, good luck to you. All right. Sam, you know something about these uh, guys? Keeping my eye on these guys. Yeah, Smitty is the intern, and before he was Smitty, he was uh, Whisker Biscuit. Whisker Biscuit, yeah. <laughs> we got replaced by Whisker, Whisker Biscuit. <laughs> oh, God. Just thank God I have enough money in the bank. I'm so <laughs> this done business. with this business, man. We got replaced by Whisker Biscuit. Whisker Biscuit. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy keeps uh, coming up with nicknames that play off his last name, which is Loper. Right. So he would call himself the Lopeness Monster. Um, he was he would drink Lopewisers while on the show. Um, oh, he, fuck. He'd go yo. <laughs> I swear, I just got like a shiver. He'd go yo yo. It's J Lo on your radio yo. <laughs> Not kidding. That doesn't rhyme with Loper. He he was into the whole J Lo thing back in like two thousand. Jeremy Loper, he's yeah. the male J Lo. Oh, holy shit! This is what the business uh, is all about. And, and corporate doesn't understand why I'm, I'm fucking losing my mind. Wow. Whatever, dudes. Anyway, uh, here's their sweeper. Uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the morning. Oh, the new oh morning. okay. Enough said right there. <laughs> right, wait. Uh, Jeremy Loper. Uh, uh, uh. Here's, here's, What's that fucking voice? It's the puke voice. The G-spot is not the back of the clit, you fucking Shut up, idiot. you dummy. You guys are idiots. The G-spot is the back of the clit. It's inside the body. The clit is what Bobby's talking about with the bumps. Holy shit. No, I'm talking about inside. I know what the clit is. All right. Look, I've hacked enough women up in my day to know I'm inside <laughs> now. All right, here we go. Here's the sweeper I meant to play. None of that syndicated bullet. This is for locals only. The Morning Buzz. See, Thanks. This is the the trend in the business to like get rid of syndicated shows and yeah. go local. Well, isn't it cheaper for them just to go this to this route the the station? Well, it's just a, th a, a trend that's happening, and and we're gonna lose because of it. Like it's all about getting local morning. We're shows the back. new yeah. ends of the of the, like the business. Huh? Syndicated <laughs> syndicated shows are the new ends of the business. Right. That's what we are. We're ends. We're good. we're losing to a trend right now. It's all about getting your local morning show in place. I'm gonna get you. Yep. This. I'm gonna get you the secret. So, and here we go. Here we go. Local. Here's Loper talking about his awesome kids. Smitty changes the subject. <laughs> this is what replaced us in West Palm Beach, Florida. We have no problem showing you guys. Hold this. on. If you think this is better than us, then God bless you. Uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the morning, the new morning buzz. We're Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the morning, the new morning buzz. We're kind of giving you a little brief summary on what we've been doing the last, well, me, the last five years. You've been gone for the radio station close to three years now. Uh, I'm married. I have two awesome kids, my wife, Patty. Oh, and shit, I'm going to fucking... <laughs> Give me a fucking break with your awesome kids. Oh, my God. I, I can't sit here. I'm going to lose my fucking okay. mind. Okay. Holy shit. That sucked. You know what? I got twenty seconds, not even. I gotta stop. I gotta stop taking this this shit seriously because it, it will yeah. drive me nuts. Yeah, fuck this it. is what Let's fucking replaced us. Yes, uh, Iraq. Wait till you hear the other guy. <laughs> okay. Wait, this guy's the better of the two. See if you can tell who's who. Oh, okay. Holy 
shit. Give a little brief summary on what we've been doing the last, well, me, the last five years. You've been wow. gone for the radio station close to three years now. Uh, I'm married. I have two awesome kids, my wife, Patty. and Oh, my God. His wife, Patty, and his awesome kids. Hopefully he, he finishes the sentence <laughs> with sucks black cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Something of for interest. Dude, I you know what? I mean, we do talk about kids here and there and stuff, but Oof. this West Palm Beach, Florida, with they're an alternative rock station. <laughs> you they're, talk, they're, talk about dating them. <laughs> right? They're talking. They're talking to very young like they tell you guys guys. They don't want to hear yeah. about your awesome kids. Nope. That's a, a fucking young male demo-driven station, wanna... and then the, you get guys on there that are talking about fucking my wife, Patty, Patty and my, oh, my oh. awesome kids. Oh. You know what your kids are? They're probably, I'm not even going to rag you, they're probably just like everyone else's kids. Not awesome. <laughs> they're average fucking kids. They take shits, they have snot coming out their nose, and they're not fucking geniuses. They're Ugh. just kids. Ugh. And uh, I have a four-year-old son, Jaden, a little daughter, Kaylee. She's two and a half. So uh, exciting times at the Loper household. It was quite the trip down here, dude. I, I know that you know my kids very well. And there is nothing like traveling uh, 1,200 miles with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, my God. The drive was in insane. I don't have kids. I am a kid Wait, myself. the other guy? I'm yeah. so glad that we're oh, in the buzz. And okay. Why, why, why? That's Smitty. The other... Is there something wrong with the processing that makes them sound identical? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's Brian. Dude, you know what? Wow. Okay, you know something? This show could work. I would listen to these guys. Why would you listen to these guys? Because I want to hit them. <laughs> Dude, this it's is, awful. This is what replaced us, though. I know. This. That's great this stuff. This is going to get it done. This. Hey, it's local. <laughs> Come on. My daughter. Yeah, awesome children. Uh, 1,200 miles with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, my God. The drive was in, in, insane. I don't have kids. I'm insane a kid dope. myself. I'm so glad that I'm working at The Buzz and not some radio station in, in like, South Carolina. <laughs> Did you notice how bad the radio was in South Carolina? Well, it's not like country music or... It, and Bible verses. Like Jesus FM. Holy shit, Dude, man. I, I'm, I might have an aneurysm. I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you have no idea. I hope he's, you hope have he's no his mind fucking right idea that we... We have to sit here and deal with being replaced by this shit? Nice fucking, nice uh, chemistry they have as far as uh, conversation goes. It's One's not... talking about one thing, the other one just goes off in another fucking direction. It's like, ah, dude, and awesome. That, like, yeah, awesome. Oh, like what this. a trip. It was insane. Crazy, dude. It was, wow. it was yeah, crazy. Pass. My four-year-old puked somewhere in Georgia. <laughs> they left afternoons That's in Tom Albany. Brady. What? They left afternoons in Albany to go to West Palm. Oh, Albany? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, well, goddamn. Maybe we're just out of touch because they're ready to... They're ready. To, are you ready for this? Yeah. They're yeah. Getting, I don't think I am, they're getting but... Re sure. They're getting ready to crack a Lopewiser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just... Could someone crack a bat over my head? Uh, they're not cracking a low wiser. <laughs> yes, e Iraq. E he's insane. He's going nuts. I don't know how they do it for the morning show now, but he used to crack low wisers before he used to go into road rage, which was like Metallica and Disturbed and Corn. Of course. Well, once they got to mornings, they realized that low wiser is so strong, you don't even need a specific reason to crack a low wiser. Any time's a good time to crack a low wiser. Ah, nice. Open. Yeah, and. Yeah, well, and the company thinks I'm insane. Or you're the, the company's insane if they think this is what needs to be done in a, in a radio is, market. Is local programming. Well, let's listen to a uh, a cracking of a lopewiser. Whatever you guys want, we're here for you. It's live local radio, the morning buzz, back in effect. Very, very exciting. And shall we crack a lopewiser? I believe we, we just probably should. And uh, coming up here, we'll uh, get you your morning buzz headlines along with buzz workforce traffic, and we'll check your weather. Also, we will get some uh, morning buzz sports smack. It's all on the way. The new morning buzz with Loper and Smitty. All right, our goal is to completely destroy everybody. Wait, what the fuck was that? And that, 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 that means to destroy radio as an industry. Did, did they even? I'm gonna, we are going to fuck it up so bad <laughs> next time yeah. that they have to officially like shut off the Cancel power of every radio. radio station in America. That is my new goal. Holy mother <laughs> yeah. of Christ.
There was no context to take that. Why did they crack a localizer to play the fucking stupid beer sound effect that they've been doing since the 70s? Since the fucking 70s, jocks have been using that beer sound effect to be cool. And this is why we get absolutely no respect, because we are lumped in with these guys. These shows, like the guy guy in Cleveland that has to say, and punt. (laughs) After every a low the guy will say something outrageous and then go and punt. Can someone please tell Budweiser so they can give him a cease and desist to not fucking do that I anymore? Like this. Wait, you guys, this is this is like the old Opie and Anthony. You guys are gonna shut you're gonna, the fuck up. You're gonna dominate the world. Oh no, Opie's he means pissed. we are. Fuck yeah, I'm no. Pissed. I want to. <laughs> Let's start cracking open some Opweisers. <laughs> Opweiser. Hey, what's Anthony? Where's Opweiser's the Opweiser's oh. easy. We need oh. a drink for Anthony. Anheuser Busch. Just ca- call it a Dushweiser. <laughs> Kumia cocktail. <laughs> no, Anheuser is a good one. Anheuser. An- Anheuser Busch. Yeah. I just want an Anheuser Busch. <laughs> Where's the stupid sound effect? <sighs> oh, I need that. Uh, Can you crack get one open? Can you get? Can you fucking, <laughs> fucking record these guys every day for this week? We, yeah, need, we are yes. playing Lopewiser audio all fucking week. All right. Do you have more there, or is that it? Uh, we got more. Oh, Hold please. Uh, let's say hi to... Uh, is it Ramon? It's Ramon. Ramon, get me a lope wife. <laughs> that tape can't be real. You guys got to be putting this on. You guys got replaced by those shit dicks? Uh, I Dude, guess so. This is why, I swear to God, I'm either going to be like uh, in an insane asylum or out of radio <laughs> soon. Those are the two choices. Because I can't take it anymore. And I talked to corporate. I'm like, what? What do you mean they, they're they replacing us in West Palm? I'm like, all right, I'll sit back and watch and see what they replace us with. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be open-minded enough as a, as a, as a guy that works for this company. All right, let's see what they replace us with. And it's this? Give the stations autonomy to do it, what they please, uh, and this is what they do. That's fine. Let's it's go to local programming. Let's go to Cody in Indiana. Cody. Hey, I think these guys are real rope bags. <laughs> I wish they'd go rope themselves. Let's go to Chuck in Jersey. Chuck? No, oh, it's John from Jersey. Hey, Whatever. John. What's up, John? Hey, yeah, how you doing? Uh, I am married and have two awesome kids. I can really identify with these guys. They are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. How often do you think they have to stress you're listening to live local radio? Well, oh, the PD's probably telling them, now, come on. Well, you got to do this uh, constantly. Well, we told you the PD never wanted us, and uh, he had a, I guess he had to wait a year and what? What are we up to? A year and eight months to yeah. finally get rid of us, and he he just was convinced that it's all about being local. So, okay. so now know, they're going to push that issue. Every morning, uh, I drop my kids off to school. The last thing I want to hear about is fucking kids. Okay? Jesus, <laughs> no thing. shit. That is the reality of life. You know, that, that when is, you're when you're making a first uh, impression doing a morning show, I don't think you should mention kids. Maybe maybe after the audience kind of accepts you a little bit, then maybe you, maybe you throw a little of that kid shit. I have in. two awesome kids. No, but you, you talk about making a first impression, and, and you, you're talking to rock dudes. We were down there. Th- these guys like their rock, and and you're on the radio talking about your awesome kids. Your first break. That is a bad. bad you know what song. you need? You need a show like like. Uh, uh, our show, or or like Toucher and Rich, where it's just a drunk. Right, right. Just a drunk on there that doesn't care. That don't. <laughs> that don't use like fake. Ah. Yeah. Ah, oh, wow. Well, yeah. Well, 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 well. Honey, you put the awesome kids to bed. How was your first day at uh, at the station? It was awesome. Just like our awesome our kids. kids. <laughs> Come on. Hey, honey, you're awesome. Group hug around the Loper household. <laughs> Ugh. God, you can only hope for a, a, a open flu on the water heater and none of them waking in the morning. <laughs> you can only hope for a lope crash. <laughs> <laughs> Flounder in Jersey, what's up? What's up, boys? How's it going today? How you good? Your for Anthony would be the Ant Stell Light. Ant Stell Light. And I'm going to take... Oh. I, I'm taking the Opweiser. Yeah, the op- Opweiser and the Ant Stell Light show. All right, what Just about... Just pop that Ant Stell Light. What about Norton? Norton needs a beverage. E-Rock needs uh. a beverage. Sam uh, needs Norton's a beverage. Is urine. Sam needs a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got? What do you got there, Sam? Well... 
this would be kind of taken from. I, I wanted to do Than Adams. Well, Than right. Adams. Yeah, that's good. All yeah. right. Got, oh, well, Sam Adams is too boring, Sam. We've yeah. got to do something else for you. How about yeah. Rolling E Rock? <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. What's that cheap wine that the, that the blacks drank? We'll give that to Sam. <laughs> we'll give that to Sam. The ripple? <laughs> St. Ives. The ripple? Oldie. Oh, malt what? liquor. Mad Dog 2020. Yeah, I'm trying go. to figure out how to say Cult 45, but with Sam in it. Yeah, that's hard. A Sam, Sam 45. 45. <laughs> Like They're not trying very hard. Why yeah, why, yeah, why should we true. try to be clever? Right. It's Lope Wiser. Right, does nothing like Bud. And I, I hope you don't get confused and think you're hearing jealousy from us. It's more outrage, trust me. Trust me. Jealousy? There's no jealousy. This is outrage that we would re be replaced by <laughs> these schmucks. Have fun uh, down there. And we will just, and, and believe me, we will announce their ratings every single time they come out. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, more audio all week, Sam, because the next one, I could play this audio. Do we have more for even today? Bring uh, more! Bring me more, Ramon. We need more. Well, because this next one, it's Loper and Smitty. They come out of Limp Biscuit, then take a call from a crazy caller. They can't <laughs> oh, work the phone. Oh, well, listen, listen to how oh, cringing. He kind of adds it. It's not Limp Biscuit. Loper Biscuit. No, 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 no. no. Oh, he fuck. Just, he makes it a little more fun, is all. All right. Limpy Biscuit? Limpy Biscuit. Why Limpy? <laughs> it's fun. It's the morning. <laughs> it's the morning. Sam, the biggest dick. <laughs> it's fun. It's the morning. Yeah, like Get that, me dude. more audio. Where, it. Well, you got more? Then we can start cutting up immediately. Where's Danny and everybody? Oh, yeah, start I'll cutting I'll this shit up. Oh, like this it. is horrible. Like well, we had so much shit we wanted oh. to do. Watch this. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Oh, Clear the back. field! Oh, because oh, okay. every right. CD that was in front of him that contained Clear everything we were doing today it's all and about, wiped it off the console. It's all about Loper and Smitty. I hope he's back. Dude, dude, is that, is that what, what? is that Loper's, um, what? It's his blog? Yeah. Uh, uh the good life, current mood, accomplished. <laughs> Yo, I had the most amazing Halloween ever. My son and daughter are the age where they enjoy Halloween to the max. Jaden was uh, Diego, and uh, Kaylee was Dora. Picks to come. Just to hear them laugh and to see them smile during trick-or-treating was an awesome moment. We have a lot of good stuff happening lately. Things are awesome as I see them. Have a great night, Loper. You're a fucking douche. Awesome. I hope you don't have awesome DNA. <laughs> Dude, this guy, oh, this the whole so... awesome thing, this is so... he's into Jaden and Kaylee, oh, this... kids and Halloween. So... Oh, oh, man. Fuck off. Uh, Here we go. Well, let's, let's listen. <laughs> in. Let's listen. You, your wife, your kids, all just fuck off. They also apparently have a bit... Uh... Uh, Bronx Johnny the Ron and Fest show actually hates these people too. He really they what? they come up with their own N word. What is it called? Yeah, from their blog, uh, Ninjas Unite. Uh, so we love singing along to hip hop songs, but hate saying the N word. This can at times cause a problem. Who well, hates saying the N word? Favorite hip hop <laughs> jam. Fuck. Who the fuck hates saying the N word? Who hates saying it? We know we're not allowed to, but who hates it? Let's let's all be honest. Let's Black, white, purple, I don't give a shit what color you what are. What color you are? It's we just, all love saying it. Everyone the says it and loves to say it. I love when black people say it. It might be... Uh, you say it. It might be politically incorrect these days, but we could all agree that we love saying it. Oh, if people didn't enjoy saying it, no one would ever say it. I who like the, the fuck doesn't love saying it? It's running it. rampant. I like the way Patrice says Especially it. Especially with the windows Patrice up and the doors locked. Right. I like that he says it like uh, he's surprised. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, Patrice please. loves the word. Loves he it. He loves it. Um, well, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, their, hate, their hatred can at times cause a problem as some of our favorite hip-hop jams are chock full of end bombs. Get uh, Bronx Johnny the phone. He said as some of our favorite hip-hop jams oh. are chock full yes. of end bombs. Yes. Hey, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. we're, why mm -hmm. does Bronx Johnny hate this show? I, I, I've never heard of Loper or Smitty until today. I don't know. It just came up on his radar. And he, By the way, hold on. I got I to gotta crack open a rolling A rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That's good. Got myself a rolling oh, can E-Rock. I, can I get one, dude? I'm a little parched. Well, no, you can have yeah. a... Uh, I'll an give an, you an, an, an Ant Stell? All right, give him an, an Ant Stell. Ant Stell? Oh, <sighs> thanks. Wow, that's good. Mm. Does this mess oh, with my sobriety? <laughs> oh, yes, then? Well, they have an example of how they want to replace it, the N-word with the word ninja. That's their solution. Uh-huh. Um, let's try it. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke ninjas. Holy mother of God. <laughs> uh, all right. I, 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 I can't even. And, and now what will ninjas be called? Because well. ninjas are, are fucking ninjas. Yeah. I'm a black ninja. <laughs> wow, well, that's really confusing. I really am. I know you are. It's <laughs> uh, the only kind. Here, here's, here's, here's Apparently. how they come out of a limp biscuit. All right. Song. Limpy. There you go, little limpy biscuit. Doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative. I'm doing it nookie style. <laughs> fucking shut up. All oh, these fucking douchebags. I'll add West Palm Beach to the list of uh, uh, markets I will work for free. Get a wow. West Palm Beach. Oh, is this awful? <laughs> this is awful. Awful radio. A lot of people, I'm sorry. A lot of people used to love doing his voice at that station. As a joke, right? Yeah. They, they make fun of him behind his back, right? Oh, yeah. Not to his face, I bet. Oh, That's how radio my works. God, am I annoyed. There you go, little limpy biscuit, doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative, 103.1 The Buzz. It is the new morning buzz. We are Loper and Smitty. Something uh, crazy going on here on the phone, Smitty. Uh, let me just answer this line. Uh, hello, the morning buzz. And I made the volume go up. I didn't uh, no, it went beeping, 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 beeping. There's a number yes. up there. It shows how high up it went. Hello? See this? <laughs> what does it say there? Volume? What's the hell? What is, what is happening? Is this real? You want to hear Metallica? <laughs> is that what he said? Oh, my God. Mandatory Metallica for that chick in Century Village. All right, I'll tell you. First of all, yeah, yeah, tear down the wall. I'm, there, I'm tearing down a wall. Tear down the wall because I heard it too. They were uncomfortable about the fact that they were using a fake fucking call that they had to say, "Is this real?" Because they were like, "Oh fuck, someone out there is gonna be on us. Is this real?" Not only real? that, no. when when he he was live up to the point where he goes, uh, "All right, uh, let's go to the phones," and then it goes to a recording. And all that was taped. It goes, something crazy going on. Let me show. But meanwhile, that happened like minutes ago during the last song, maybe. They threw the tape together. How do you know if it's... So he's lying about answering the phone. He's not really answering the phone. How do you know phone. something's going crazy on the phone if you haven't answered, if you the, haven't phone answered the phone yet? <laughs> Play that again. You can see where it goes to record There you go, a little Limpy Biscuit doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative 103.1 The Buzz. It is the new morning buzz. We are Loper and Smitty. Something uh, crazy going on here on the phone, Smitty. Uh... Let me just answer this line. Uh, hello, the morning buzz. No, I didn't. I made Tape. the volume go up. I didn't no, know it went beep, 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 and there's a number yes. up there. It shows how high up it went. Hello? Listen for, is this real? What does it say there? Volume? What the hell? What is, what is happening? Say? Is this real? You want to hear Metallica? <laughs> is that what he said? Mandatory Metallica for that chick in Century Village. Chick. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Mandatory Metallica. And you hear his acting. He's like, let's just go to the phones here. Sounded so natural. Is this real? Because you know it's not. Oof. Wow. We need a lot more of this show. Loper and Smitty talking about how excited people are that they won't be talking. Why? <laughs> that's a good. That's, that's a great way to uh, promote yourself. They're see they're making they're taking shots at us. Yeah, that they're local. They're right. Not be talking. Mm -hmm. We get it. Yeah. That right there is one of my favorites. Buzz classics. That is Poe and Angry Johnny. Florida's new rock alternative. One hundred three point one. The buzz. What? One of your favorite alter... Uh, what? That song is so old. And it's so wimpy. <laughs> New slogan, they're not just local, they're loco. Oh, oh, oh. They're not just local, they're loper. Loperal. Loperal. <laughs> oh. That right there is one of my favorites. Is Buzz it? Classics. That is Poe and Angry Johnny, Florida's new rock alternative, 103.1 The Buzz. It is Loper and Smitty, the new morning buzz, and lots of calls coming in. So glad you guys are not yapping all morning. Thanks for the buzz music. We'll get used to it. The healthy dose of buzz music every day between 6 and 10 is uh, going to be jammed down your throats, and you're going to love it. Brave are motherfuckers you? making fun. How about you call the Opie and Anthony show and say it to our fucking faces? Yeah. Douchebag. And by the way, uh, we could play music if we wanted to very easily. Uh, you try fucking talking. 
Go ahead. Let's see what creative fucking genius comes out of the likes of you two douchebags. I would love to hear them try to carry a talk show for fucking 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15! They couldn't even Without do it. Without drinking a lope for wiser. one minute. With their lope wiser and your stupid fucking kids. No one wants to hear about your kids! And finally, we get Loper talks about his name. They crack finally, that's something I don't want to hear. And they crack a, another Loper. Oh no, they don't. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. And for those that don't know, Jeremy Loper in this two-year period or four-year period, when he ventured out into the country, went by the name Rex with three X's. All right, do we really have to get Rex into with that? three X's? And then he tried to be Rex with three X's in <laughs> Delaware. He lost an X, right? So then he was Rex with two X's. And then they made our banner, which only had one X, and now Rex is gone all together. Jeremy Loper, it's good to have yeah, you back. J-Lo on the radio. It's, you, a it's a triumphant return of J-Lo on the radio. J-Lo, can, can you crack me a Lopewiser, please? I will. Thank you. Frosty and cold. All right, I got an announcement to make. I will, uh, and I swear to God, call the, call the press. I will be out of radio in less than a year. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Mark my word, I'm done. I am fucking done for my mental health. Done. Time to look into other shit. Un- this is Believable. what replaced us in fucking West Palm Beach, Florida, and corporate doesn't understand why I, 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 I'm I okay with this. And then say, ah, whatever, don't, I won't get it. I would just love to see uh, how they do. Huh? Uh, actually, playing music, who knows? Well, play music. probably shove music down the, their throat the uh, whole time, so that's an easy... Easy thing to do. It's an easy fix. You need someone to push the buttons and, and crack open the lope wisers. Every so often, a nice frosty lope wiser. Well, this talk radio is is, is out. Uh, it's it's, it's just, all about going local, so you're going to yeah. hear more of these fucking local shows doing nothing. And playing music. That's why, you know, we got the, we got the national uh, audience with the XM, thank God. Uh, Caesar in West Palm Beach, what's up? Hey, boys. How you doing today? All right. Hey, man, you guys are absolutely right. These guys are fucking terrible, terrible. But it's it's a trend down here. We've always had terrible morning radio. We start off with, they start off with Howard Stern. After Howard Stern, they gave us David Lee Roth. After David Lee Roth, you guys came when I finally saw a ray of light. I was like, oh, shit, we're going to have some good radio. They take you guys off and put these high-pitched bitches on the freaking radio. Can you imagine waking up in the morning, going to work at 6 in the morning, and hearing these high-pitched voices just screaming into your ear? I gave them the benefit of the doubt at the beginning. I was like, well, let me listen and see what's going on. Forget about it. I went out that afternoon and bought an XM radio, boys. Forget uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, I think we turned a bunch of people on to XM down in West Palm because of the switch. I appreciate it. I guess what I'm trying to get at is is simple. And, you know... And we we definitely try to be honest in the show. Let's say let's say Howard goes back to regular radio, and all of a sudden somebody goes, "Holy shit, Howard's going back to regular radio." We're gonna pick them up. We're gonna pick his show up and dump Opie and Anthony. I can at least understand why someone would decide that's what they need. The proven to do. show, right? Track record, all yeah, that shit, yeah. right? I I it would hurt. It would still hurt, but I would understand. Like, all right, I, I get it because of because of his history. But to be replaced by this shit. Oh my God! This is a, a this is a case of a program director who wants complete control over his morning show, and now has it. This PD can go in there and say whatever the fuck he wants to these guys, and they will jump. They will do whatever he says, and stay right between the fucking lines that he sets. Play the songs he wants them to play at the times he wants them to play, and 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 air check with them and go. When you talked and said this, um, you should have gone in this direction. Like he he can justify his job by having these guys in here. Well, by having you guys on in the morning, you the the they he can't he just he does nothing. No one even sit there and twiddle his dick. So he does nothing. Yeah, and he can't say anything to you. No, because you you uh, you guys We're respond to a higher. Yeah, and we're going to listen to him. Fuck him. And why would you brag <laughs> that you're going to be playing a lot of music, you idiots? If that's, it's, uh, I have to be a program director. All right, wait. I could maybe quit and just be a program director. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> going to be the program director? Yeah, the only one in the entire business. That's my goal. Another one of their marquee. No, bits. but uh, all kidding aside, though, like. 
if if that's the angle you're taking, like you want to play a lot of music, oh as, a, as a as a as a show, you shouldn't be bragging that you're you're going to be playing a lot of music. Let the fucking station do that, you know, with their sweepers and stuff. But not you as the guy that's opening up the mic, going, "Hey, I just want to tell you, man, this is going to be great because we're going to play a lot lot of music and we're barely going to talk." They gave away orange juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that what I'm saying? As, tell me, I'm not really seeing this. What are you talking about today? O.J. was freed from jail, so to celebrate, we're offering free O.J. to our listeners uh, starting at 5 p.m. in Colony Center. Enjoy. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy... There you go. There's your local angle. Free orange juice at a fucking... Fucking fuck. This fuck. is fucking like <laughs> a fucking fuck. Dude, fuck. I cannot so even deal. Yeah, man. With, with I love it. And uh, wow, Logan in Indiana, what's up? What's up, man? I'm I'm listening to this stuff. Loper and Smitty. It's like it's like Stroker and Shitty coming on. It's like horrible. How do they? How does that? Don't take over? don't try to don't try to cover up your bad fucking <laughs> joke, sir. Oh, Oh, my ass. All right, sir. I'm sorry, thank, ninja. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's. <laughs> yeah. I, wonder why, I wonder why you guys got kicked off and have no listeners. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, thanks, Amy. Click. You suck. Bye. Click. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. You suck. That blows. Uh, uh, the listeners that aren't getting hung up on love it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Norm in Philly. Norm. Yo, what's up, folks? Hey, man. You forgot the obvious. Spudweiser. Hey. Spud oh, for Spud Buckley. Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. See, that's how you talk. You tell someone they're a fucking asshole. No, no, that was an awesome phone call. Awesome. Well, well uh, something weird's going on in the phone. Oh, I, I feel it. Let's pick up the phone and see what it is. Oh, that's awesome. No, you go, you're a fucking asshole. But, I, you know, I, I like the dig. Let's go to Dan at PA. What's up? Hey, what's up, O&A? Yep. Hey, I have a suggestion. Yep. Uh, I remember how you screwed with uh, Tyler Banks. Yep. Why don't you guys do that with this radio station? Yeah, I think the pests are doing their own thing. You know. All right, push it up. I don't feel like getting a phone call from corporate. Can you tell your pest to stop? We're really trying to get something done down there. I love that. You Whatever. Can, you the pests will do what they're going to do. I Put a I, call I, out. Huh? That's so great that you can just put yes, a call out. Do you remember the station got upset over the summer because we didn't participate in their um, their drive for getting school supplies for kids by filling up a school bus? Are you shitting me? What? I didn't hear about this. <laughs> they were asking if we'd promote it, and I, I think we looked at it and went, no. Fill up a bus with school supplies? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way we would... <laughs> Fill it up with ninjas and <laughs> drive it over a cliff. <laughs> Flies. You know how they could be with their ninja masks. They're very deadly. They're scary. They yes. Guess. That's who they were for. It was it? That's who the supplies were for. Oh, uh, was they sending them all the way to uh, Japan? Yes. Yeah, wow. Every ninja looks alike. You can't even tell them apart. I know. They wear the hood. Right. Yes, they're very scary. <laughs> and they're silent. They can What's that about up, them? They can climb up walls. Yes. You gotta watch them. I've seen many ninja movies. Uh, let's go to uh, Phil in Delaware. Phil, Phil, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, what? Hey, I live in Southern Delaware, and uh, I listened to these jokesters for a little while. We had a we had a true good FM uh, radio show before them, and in true O N A style, they pushed the envelope too far and got kicked off the air. Yeah, right. they kicked off the air. Then these then these guys came on, absolute joke. Fans pushed them off the air, and now they're down in West Palm Beach. I found XM and found you guys, and I'm not changing anything. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate Austin. that. Unfortunately, we don't have any more Loper and Smitty for today. Oh, no, they're not on the air right Damn now. it! Why aren't they on? They, oh, get, they, they just, got on, yeah. just got off? We just missed it. Nice gig if you could get it. We got part one. Uh, when we get back, we got Starker Patty Gets High, part two by Derek. Oh, part okay. one was such a hit. And uh, we're going to talk about another asshole in radio. Some fucking broad that's stalking me. I'm uh, a little thirsty. Oh, <laughs> a little well, thirsty. I'm a little I have thirsty such too. A lot dude. to choose from. Can I have a Than Adams? Oh, <laughs> frosty cold. I like, mm, I just want, like Than. I want something too, though. <laughs> cold and distant. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Bobby wants something too. Can you give him a cock? <laughs> ah, yeah. Thank Thank you. Bob for Bob. Oh, he I loves when it, he loves when it comes in the can. Wow. <laughs> yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He likes the long necks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> long necks and big helmets. <laughs> Low Pfizer. Fuck, hey. This is what replaced us. See? Enjoy, West Palm. This is why, reason number 285, why radio stinks. <laughs> Thank God I got a few money, man. That's all I have to say. Thank the fuck, God. I don't have enough, though. <laughs> I don't have enough. Really? Yeah, went a little, you know... You can team a little up. beyond my means. You can team up with Ronnie. Me and Ronnie? Because <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> I hope he's out. I hope so he's out. out. Look at Anthony's face like, oh, shit. Yeah, Ronnie and Ant would have a great show. I just can't <laughs> deal with this shit too much longer. <laughs> the, the Ron and Anthony show. They would do fine. That's all I'm saying. I just... We well, can throw him on with Black Phillip. Dude, it, and then... Uh, I, I, I'm biting my lips so bad today. Patrice O'Neill. Hello, sir. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to do some Loper and, and Schmitty or oh, what? Oh, that was so fun yesterday. You think I forgot? I didn't that forget. That was really fun yesterday. I should, uh, we should explain to Patrice. Patrice, which one is he using? This one? You. Oh, oh wow, look, okay. All right, I got you. Um, recently we got uh, kicked off West Palm Beach Radio. West Palm Beach, Florida radio. Yes, right. never to return. And it happens. You know, you syndicate a radio show, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Right. And we lost West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, the, the PD down there in general wasn't into, into our thing. Excuse the squeak. He was uh, Thank you. not really into us. He wanted a local show. Right. That uh, kind of fit the image of the station, which, you know, they captured do. the flavor. They they rock. They're an alter, alternate rock type station. And uh, so we got replaced. And as much as it frustrates me, I do understand to a point, you know, if it, if it's a show where you, you look at the show and you go, all right, not happy, but all right, I can but see what he's thinking. They should, they should do well with that show or I can understand as a business decision kind of a thing. Yeah, one of those deals. Right. Well. We got replaced by this show called uh, Loper and Schmitty, where he talks about his awesome kids. They, I, I got awesome kids. They pop Lopewisers. You want because, a Lopewiser? Because his name is Lopewiser. So he calls it a Lopewiser, and he just makes this sound effect of... <laughs> it, 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 it's beyond... Here, here's your Lopewiser. There you go, Patrice. Enjoy. There's your low price. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? Great radio. And we basically got uh, replaced by uh, hacks. So uh, one hack and an intern. And an intern. A hack and an intern. That's what replaced the great Opie Anthony show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you have it. And we like to tell people that it's a virus spreading. Yeah, well, yeah. this virus was cured with a little NyQuil. I think they a little, found a, a cure. And a the, good night's sleep. That's all it took. <laughs> I think the fever broke. <laughs> yeah, the fever broke. The little... I was running at 100 uh, degrees, and it's feel better. Back down to 98.6. I think I might, have to, I might be able to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so, we played some of their audio yesterday, Patrice, and... Uh, oh, the fans just ate it up. Loved it. They love the uh, Loper, Loper and Schmitty stuff. Who wouldn't? All right. Uh, well, we uh, we start with more audio. Thank God. I couldn't get enough yesterday. Sam's all excited. No, it sucks. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, glad the TV shows I watch aren't 25 minutes late starting. <laughs> Dude, we were in an intense meeting at the other joint. Give us a little break. chit-chat. I love, I love that they think we're just kind of like... Da, 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 we, we're shopping on the da, walkover. Da, hey, that's a nice watch. <laughs> just like twiddling our thumbs. Da. Yeah. Talking to the magazine stand guy. What do you think we're doing? I would like people to think logically. Yeah. I, that's what I try to do. Now, think logically. Why would we want to just sit around and waste time? Yeah, and not. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to just turn the mics on and go, keep the energy going and all right. that? Right. Keep the flow going. So if we're if we come in here 20 minutes after nine, don't you think there's a pretty good reason? There was it's a not reason. And I decided to hit a diner. <laughs> 
Give us, give us a little credit, just a tad. Just think logically at times, and then you don't have to like bitch as much. Yeah. It's so much easier to go from one show to the other immediately and continue the flow mm -hmm. and the energy. All right. Uh, Loper and Schmitty, this is uh, how they started their show to replace us yesterday. Yes, this is the first. We missed the first half hour yesterday, so we went. E Rock luckily taped it at home. Thank God for the E Rock. <laughs> yeah, so we got. They, they did a, like a pre produced minute limerick type of thing. Okay. Oh. And they kind of bashed everybody that had come within the last about several great. years on the buzz. And uh, know what I love about this? Sam is taking this assignment very seriously. You got we got like 20 tracks in front of me. Oh, you said Sam, we nice. More. <laughs> Never enough of these two. Is uh, there is there gold in here or what? I think they're starting to hit their stride. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's their pre-produced intro. They uh, they started uh, with yesterday. Okay. Get a little of this. Off. You see, for those who don't know me, my name is Johnny. A guy who loves booze, hot chicks that are horny. From 1995 to 2004, I hung here with Fatty, the lush and his whores. But something went wrong in the heart of New York when they gave too much power to a balding corporate dork. Then without warning, the plug was yanked. And before you knew it, the morning buzz was tanked. They said syndication will bring you success. But all that it brought us were complaints in a mess. They force-fed us, a six-foot-five Jew. But shortly thereafter, off the satellite, he flew. Thirty days later. Uh, can I tell you something, you fucking cocks? And, you know, and, and we're pretty honest on the show. Fucking Howard gave this station huge ratings, you <laughs> fucking douches. Yeah, at least be honest. Be fucking Jesus. honest. We are. <sighs> Howard had great success down there and then went to satellite. Off the satellite, he flew. Thirty days later, here comes David Lee, a washed-up rock star with the brain of a pea. Lucky for us, uh -huh. his stay was cut short when they realized his talent rivaled genital warts. And then in an effort, some say was last ditch. They signed O&A in their comic midget bitch. Although the show was at times quite mannish. We knew for sure. If we kept it, we were sure to flip Spanish. So now here we are, back in our fair city, with a new morning buzz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Lopa and Smitty. The Morning Buzz. With Lopa and Smitty. 103.1. The Buzz. So now that they have officially made fun of us, I uh, I just have one word to say. Yeah. And that would be attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that, that that's the first the first volley has been launched by them. All right. Well. All right. If we had no well, listeners, technically. enjoy with our uh, enjoy it was yesterday. enjoy our no listeners yeah. in the coming months. Enjoy uh, how we had no listeners and how they will crucify you. And the station was going to go Spanish if we continued. No, oh, really. How about you look at the last ratings? Yeah, look at the ratings uh, that now you have to. Uh, Could do they have better been better? Than... Yes. Were we doing okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. We were doing more than okay. Were they going up, up, up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, please. So, this, this is the business we uh, were part of. Wonderful. And then they uh, went into this, their uh, wake and bake trivia question. Yeah. Wake just, and bake trivia. I highlighted today because we don't have the whole uh, wake and bake trivia, but this question was just such a. It, it, they do it at like 6.15. So it's, one of the, it's the first bit of the brand new show and the trivia question that they chose. Uh, it was one to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say hi to Vinny and Poughkeepsie. Vinny! Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, Vinny. How you doing? What's up? Those fucking fairies got the nerve to call Norton a bitch when he's talking about his little fairy wife and kids. Well, exactly. Yeah, well, there you go. There he is talking about his, his fucking who gives a shit wife and kids. Really? It does, that's another, that's a prime example of a self-important little cunt who thinks... That anyone gives a shit about your wife and fucking kids. Well, no one cares. Sure if you're in the market for 20 fucking years, perhaps somebody might want to know what your life is about. Your first day on the air, you're, you're talking about how awesome your wife and kids are. Let me give you a little advice that might help your show out. No one gives a fuck. No one cares about your dopey wife or stupid kids. You got to do that in very small doses. Oh, very small doses. And at the beginning, in none doses. I, I'm kind of bummed Norton's not here be, so he could uh, oh. discuss how they called them a little bitch. Yeah. There you go. Please. Oh, All right, Vinny. Thank you. Uh, Dan in Utah, you um, 
you have something about us being late today? Yeah, I okay. do. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right, he got us. F yourself. No, that was me. Okay. Uh, first ever Wake and Bake uh, trivia question. Here we go. It is time for a new segment here on The Buzz. It is called Wake and Bake Trivia. It is uh, your new host of The Morning Buzz. Loper and Smitty, yes, uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty Balls, a.k.a. the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit. It is good to be home. <laughs> Do you understand the, the outrage we're what? feeling, Patrice? What? <laughs> it's <laughs> just... What we, we have to sit here. I'm going down slow right now, dude. It, like, it, is, isn't it just... Uh, this is... This is th we have to... This is the business we're in. We got replaced by this. This. A.K.A. the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit. It is good to be home, my friend. It is good to be home. I don't want to be replaced by Whisket Biscuit. Whisket, <laughs> Whisket Biscuit. Whatever. Well, it just seems it just seems like Whisker Biscuit. They're following the rules, man. They're following the rhythm. They they kind of enjoyable right now. Like actually, let me listen to the a chair, bit more. dummy. All right, all right, let's go to Oliver in Texas. Oliver. Hey, morning, boys. Hey, thank you. Hey, I was listening to that poem, and I kind of made up one on the spot. I don't know how good it is, but here it goes. All right. It goes, uh, Loper and Smitty, they are quite shitty, walking around thinking their show's very witty. They walk around thinking they're very smart and thinking their jokes come with a knock. But when they open up their mouth, hey, here comes a cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. The guy, uh, like, man, the guy only had a minute to made come up, up on the, the spot. Poem. I give you credit for that. All right, let's get back to the the whisker biscuit. It it is good to be home, my friend. It is good to be home, and uh, unlike the past two years, you can actually win things now in the morning. Yeah, so uh, we have a morning buzz uh, prize pack. Boy, is that another shot at us? I guess so. Was that a shot at us, Loper and Schmitty? You, you guys were dopes. Giving, you weren't giving away prize packs. Uh, see, that's uh, the, that, see. that's going to get the ratings yeah, that, uh, yeah, flying. Giving away Lincoln Park fucking CDs is going to get the ratings up. Was that another shot? <laughs> Fuck. What well, this business fucking blows. Yeah. Two years, you can actually win things now in the morning. Wow. Yeah, so uh, we have a Morning Buzz sure uh, I... prize pack. It's been a long time since the Morning, morning Buzz, Buzz prize pack, pack is back. And yes. uh, if you can score today's Wake and Make Trivia question, we will set you up. So uh, without any further ado, Mr. Smitty Balls, if you will, uh, sir, give us our Wake and Make Trivia balls. question. Smitty Balls. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I think that? it's a takeoff on, like, sweaty balls. Like, you got oh. Smitty Balls. What a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> prize packs. They're proud. <laughs> they're proud that they can give away prize packs. Prize packs. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Does anyone else feel my pain? That's all they, I need to know. They, they, uh, I can't, I can't, I... They're bragging about the fact they can give away prize packs, that they play uh, music in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Less talking. And they could, like, give people lope wisers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Smitty Balls is with him. <laughs> Who used to be Whisket Biscuit. Whisket <laughs> Biscuit. That's his name now. Whisket Biscuit. <laughs> Smitty Balls. God. Mr. Smitty this. Balls, if you will, uh, sir, give us our Wake and Bake trivia question. The category. Lighthouses. I love lighthouses. Lighthouses are the best. Lighthouses. <laughs> Holy mother of fucking cock. Are you shitting me? <laughs> lighthouses are the best. I love lighthouses. What are you, a merchant marine? What do you love, seamen? You I fag? love lighthouses. <laughs> I want to make lighthouse, lighthouse movies. movies. If this isn't enough ammo for the the pests to uh, attack, are they doing lighthouse trivia? Yes. Did we get replaced by lighthouse <laughs> trivia? Dude, this is the shit we should have been doing. Lighthouse trivia. Lighthouse trivia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Lighthouse trivia. What? I want to see if I can answer this. Do you have the question? Oh, thank you. Start wake and bake trivia question. The category. Lighthouses. I okay. love lighthouses. Lighthouses are the best. Lighthouses <laughs> rule. This is the question, people. All right. All right. What U.S. state has more lighthouses 
than any other U.S. state. All right, stop it. All right. I got the state. All right. The state of who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy, holy mother. you got to be kidding me. I'm going to go with Nevada. <laughs> Nevada. At least that would make for funny radio. I'm, uh, uh, Shmi, right. I'm going to say Nevada. Get it? We need something with a very long, rickety, rocky coastline. Um, I am going to say, uh, Virginia. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? I'm play Lighthouses rule. <laughs> They're the best. Uh, mm. Five six one five five zero oh, nine nine one zero oh, three. Mm. Five six one five five zero oh, nine one zero oh, three. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, Maine. Maine? No, that's stupid. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm going to go Aren't with... Aren't you a Lighthouse fan? I'm going to go with, uh, um, I'm going to go with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the state of who gives a shit, <laughs> right? Who gives a shit? More Lighthouses. Than any other U.S. State. Jeopardy music. It's a staple. All right. I'll give you a hint right off the bat. It is not Iowa. It's not Iowa? Not Iowa. So you got 49 to choose from. We that's like, <laughs> fucking funny because... See, that's my Nevada joke, but he used a different... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the answer. Yeah. Well, right now they're not taking live calls because they're in the middle of doing 90s at 9. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losers. <laughs> That's great. Uh, all right. That was a hint. All right. I'll give you a hint right off the bat. It is not Iowa. It's not Iowa? Mm -hmm. Not Iowa. So you got 49 to choose from. We are looking for the U.S. state with more lighthouses than any other U.S. state. If you can get the answer correct, we will hook you up with a morning buzz Virginia? prize pack. Do you really want to know? Florida? Well, people need to know. Donna wants to know. I mean, in the age of Google, this is really... <laughs> Yeah, contest like this is stupid. <laughs> you could just punch it up and, and sound like a genius. It took 20 seconds, and I I got Michigan. It's Michigan? Followed closely with 90. Um, yeah. Followed closely by Maine with 80. Say, oh. And you guys laughed at Maine. That was a good guess. Thank it you. was a good guess. <laughs> Jesus. They have lighthouses and mooses. <laughs> Moosen. Where does the state of who gives a shit uh, fall on the list? Because I thought that was number one. It actually has 110. So <laughs> who gives a shit? Actually, 250 million uh, people. Well, that was day one. Uh, that wraps up day one. We played a lot of the day one clips yesterday. We are now up to day two. All right. With the show that replaced us in West Palm Beach, Florida. Here's their intro. Oh, it's wacky. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't, I can't. What's with the wacky music and the clapping? It's Patrice, go over there. And those people There's, just hang those out. Those chairs are is much better. Is this radio? Huh? Well, what's in my... Oh, Patrice is I'm falling out. Well, it. he had a burger at 3 in the morning. I remember you said that. <laughs> yeah, but... I'm not shutting down. This thing is... Sh this is <laughs> I'm not shutting down. I'm just... Whew. Yeah. Well, it's it's awful. All right, let's listen. It's again. awful. Wow. <laughs> maybe maybe we're just uh, bitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's listen with an open mind. All right. Open. All mind. right. All right. Hold it. Hold it. Because that's what the, that's what they would say. They're just bitter. So Let me they, get the mood here. Did they give y'all a reason? Like, what's the reason they said? They never talked to us. No. They never another really great thing told that happens. Anything. In, that's another great thing that uh, happens in this business. You just like. Stop communicating, even though mm. it's the communication business. <laughs> yeah, we're in communications, <laughs> except with people you have to communicate with. Right, and then they decide not to communicate. To all right, boss. let's all picture we're in our cars, we're driving to work. All right, you turn on the radio, we're waiting for your favorite show. No jealousy, no bitterness. And here's what comes on. I'm honestly, I'm driving. I want to know exact. I want to feel this. Okay, like I would not knowing. All right. That they're the show that replaced us. It's nothing like that. It's just a radio show. All right, I'm going to give a little dead air. So it, let's just make believe you're turning on the radio for the first okay. time, and this is what you hear. All right. Here comes the dead air. Here it is. 
And here's you getting ready to turn on the radio station. The Morning Buzz with Jeremy Loper and Smitty here on 103.1 The Buzz, Florida's new rock alternative. Welcome to day number two. I am so glad day number one is over. It's always like, you know, that, that nerve-wracking show. Now that's that's all behind us, and uh, it is uh, it is time to rock. This replaced us. <laughs> okay. oh, seriously. This is college radio. Wait, wait, wait. No, this no. This is college radio shit. Oh. I, I got to go with the fantasy of the. the oh, I'm sorry. I no, I I ran my car into a pole, <laughs> uh, and killed myself. <laughs> the, I uh, see what what our fine do, 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 do. What, what our fine listeners don't understand fully is the fact that behind the scenes, uh, especially myself and certainly Anthony as well, mm. we're taking a lot of phone calls from people. And they told us this was coming, that uh, we were going to be replaced West Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah. Lots of calls. So you're sitting there like, fuck, man, they must they must have like a fucking power hitter coming back into the market. That's like one of these one market sensations that, that you just can't compete against. Frustrating, but shit. Yeah. Lots of conversations. But. Lots. <laughs> and we were replaced by this shit in the end. And I'm wow. It's local. They give away prizes. Do, well, do, prize do, packs. Do, do. <laughs> prize packs. Do, 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 do. That means you get more than just a CD. Probably get like maybe a DVD, oh. a T-shirt, and maybe a coupon. Yeah. Let's rock. All right. Here's uh, the. They hype up how great their show will be in this next clip. And uh, like you said, day one's over. Because all right, first it's the first break, right? You're like, all right, we gotta get through this first. <laughs> Crack that microphone. Got that. So I'm like, all right, all right. Just got to get through this show. Day one's over, and day two is going to kick ass. We got uh, bake sale tickets to give away today. I believe we got some uh, tattoo gift certificates. We got wake and bake trivia coming up next. A jam-packed show. Stay tuned, and we will let you know about everything going on today. I can't fucking take it. <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. I hope people can appreciate the, the suffering that is happening right in front of their eyes. This is the listen. worst type of hack <laughs> right out of college radio. Like, like it. it's so fucking bad. If this is where radio is going, there's no place for us. I'm telling no. you right now, there's no we fucking place. We are misplaced. Place. There's no fucking place. I even said it yesterday. Like if, if like Howard went back to regular radio and they decided to go back with uh, Howard down there, you know, it'd be frustrating. But you would at least understand why that would happen. Had success. He's got a great track record. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I know I'm saying that. And people are like, what does he really lose his mind? No, but we do try to be honest on this show. But to be replaced by <clears throat> this, I don't know what this is. This, this is hack small market radio that's not even good enough to be the top fucking show in a small market. Well, uh, Loper and Schmitty take a call that insults O and A. Right. It is one of three point one. The buzz. Florida's new rock alternative. It is the morning buzz. Hi. With Loper and Smitty. How you doing over there, buddy? Chillin'. All right, cool. Uh, you know what? Phones are ringing. Uh, Let's take some phone calls. Hello, the buzz. Yo, Loper, Smitty, a.k.a. Whisker. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Who's this? This is Super Dave, dude. I call, like, all the time. I've been hounding John O for the longest time. I talk to everyone. I've been talking to Mahoney, Trey, you know, Davis, everybody. And I was like, you got to get these idiots O and A off the radio. You need to just bring back the old school, the way it was before. Y'all have the morning show, do a little bit of music in between. It's awesome, you know. man. Uh, five six one yeah. five five zero oh, nine one zero oh, three. Yeah, give them a call. We'll get in trouble for this too. Trust me. Hey, if you they're watch. gonna fucking bash us, you watch. Fair game, motherfucker. You watch. Fair game. Uh, just kill. That's great. Take a call trashing us, and you haven't even done anything on your show yet. That's, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. At least entertain your audience, and then uh, well, Dave, after a while, you can... Eh? 
Bash whoever you want. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, day two, we're up to Wake and Bake Trivia. Again? Oh, yeah. Well, we, every day? We played the one from yesterday, the Lighthouse Trivia. Let's see what uh, today's uh, Wake and Bake Trivia Gee, is. I hope it's Caboose Trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got to do trivia, man. Thanks for the call, bro. All right, man. No problem. I'll be calling you guys a lot, man. Cool. All right, man. Take it easy. Keep it rocking. Wipe away the fog and cut through the haze with Wake and Bake Trivia. That's a bong. All right. Thanks. Time for Wake and Bake Trivia. do appreciate the call from him. And uh, it is 619. Wake and Bake Trivia time. Go ahead, dude. Very nice. The category today, President's... The prize, a Morning Buzz prize pack. The question goes a little something like this. Who is the only U.S. president to ever been known to wear a Nazi uniform? A Nazi uniform? Yes. Hitler style. All right, cool, man. Wake and make trivia. Holy God. <laughs> Hitler style. <laughs> what? What? I said a la Hitler. Uh, George W. Um, I I n- have no idea who would wear a Nazi uh, uniform. Woodrow Wilson? <laughs> no, that's before. Um, I I got the answer if you need. Oh, do you? Yeah, he was uh he was the president in the early uh, 50s. Okay, and what was his name? Who gives a shit? <laughs> president who gives a shit? <laughs> hey, we got to do trivia, man. Thanks for the call, bro. Oh, well, here's the answer, I guess. Oh. All right, 550-9103 or toll-free at 866-954-ROCK. What is your guess? Hey, anyone get it? Uh, not yet, dude. Go ahead. Uh, is it Reagan? Yes, it is Ronald Reagan. Uh, first guess, <laughs> very, very good. The reason, if you're wondering... This guy is the epitome of Wake and Bake trivia right yeah, here. Whatever, bro. Uh, the reason Ronald Reagan wore a Nazi uniform is because before his presidential career... He was an actor. Get out of here. He played a Nazi in the 1942 like film. A Nazi, bro? Yes, a Nazi bro. <laughs> he played one in the 1942 okay. film Desperate Journey. Did, have you ever seen that film? Yeah, like 17 uh, times. <laughs> okay, man. Well, hang on one second. We'll get your morning bus prize back, okay? <laughs> hang on All one right. second. <laughs> the Larry's so out of control that he can't help himself. It, it, it's <laughs> the fake laughing, the fake applause because someone answered a question right oh god these are all the things we refuse to do on our show always have refused it, it, to do. it's what it's what like anyone would refuse to do why would you do these this is such small market shit fucking radio it, it's just shit radio <sighs> presidential trivia Let's go to fucking lighthouses. Let's go to David, Wisconsin. Dave. Hey, man. And oh, yeah, that show really isn't all that bad. I mean, all they're trying to do is catch the local. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's dead. Uh, very good. Let's say hi to Danny in Louisiana. Danny, what's up? Hey, guys. Love you. Love the show. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, hey, man, like, Whisker Biscuit's got to be the stupidest radio name I've ever heard of since Sex Bagel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it uh, similar? There's a biscuit. we got to do the top ten worst, bagel. worst radio names of all time. Mine might be in there. Sex Bagel well, is Mine top. was a nickname no. as a kid. I didn't make it uh, for the radio. Sex Bagel. Sex Bagel's up there. It's the worst, <laughs> I think. Number one. <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge is way up there. Yeah, that's a bad one. Uh, whisker Biscuit. Whisker Biscuit or whisker. Schmitty Balls. Schmitty Balls. <laughs> Free Beer and Hot Wings got to be up there. Yeah, that's Free Beer and bad. Hot Wings is awful. All right, well, uh, Schmitty does the sports smack. How come I'm getting a little thirsty? I haven't had a, a Oh, you want a lope lope-wiser? Lope-wiser. Hey, can we get Anthony a lope-wiser? Hey, where's my uh, lope wiser wake the fuck up! Come on, E-Rock. He's writing something. <laughs> He's... I hope it's his last will and oh. testament. Oh. Uh, oh, nice. Can Creamy. I point something out? Iraq's whole job when we get to XM is sit there and wait for a cue. And it could be two minutes. It could be 20 minutes. Just wait, though. And he, we finally had to go to him, and I, I don't give a shit oh, you're writing. Oh, oh, boy. I can multitask. Oh, boy. Here he comes, and he's pissed. You can't listen with half an ear and write at the same time? We were on the phone. What, do you, what is this? This is different than what? 
The other phone number, they did something to it. You can't call the 561 number anymore, so you have to call this number now. What is it? 866-654-ROCK. Oh, okay. Six or nine. Uh, I, what, I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> what is that? I think it, I think is that a nine. six? I think I heard him say it. I think it's a nine. Nine, five, four. Oh, my God. Hold it up for two minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> 866 954 Rock. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, get into some uh, <clears throat> sports schmack with Schmitty. <laughs> oh, Shitty. The game sucked. It was super boring, super sloppy. It was zero to zero uh, until 17 seconds left in the game when the Pittsburgh Steelers finally scored the a music. field goal Dead. to Lord. win <laughs> to win a riveting NFL game with the final score of three to nothing. This now makes the Miami Dolphins 0 and 11. I mean, Yikes. you know, it's not even fun. It's not, it, it, it's, it's just, it's not pointless. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll pointless. give you that. <laughs> you that said is it. fucking pointless. You said it. With the, the sports <laughs> music bed behind them. You said it. They got to pick the hacky beds for everything they do. <sighs> yeah, well. The hackiest, like. It's all about sounds, remember? Jody in Columbus, what's up? <laughs> this was towards the listeners Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. There it is. Good luck. Well, we got Enjoy. joy. John in Albany. John, what's up? Hey, uh, they were up here for a while, and those questions for the the whatever buzz, I think they were afternoon or something up here. It's the same exact fucking questions they were asking up here about Nazi uniforms and all that shit. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, they're taking the same shit down there, obviously. Oh, bro. Uh, well, that you phone call we played yesterday. Ah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, that was fake. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, we move on to Schmitty tries to convince Loper to root against the Dolphins, then wraps up his smort, uh, his sports smack. Yeah, so Miami's 0-11. I'm telling you, man, like a, a few of my friends who are Dolphins fans, you got to hop on the root for 0-16 bandwagon. I'm not hopping on that bandwagon, man. It, it's depressing enough, and that's... Uh, I'm going to root against my team every week? Is that what you're proposing? I don't know, but you're kind of... Then I don't have anybody to root for. No, you're rooting for a draft pick. And you're rooting for the fact that your team is so incredibly unique in the fact that they went both 16-0 and 0-16. and 0-16. No other team has done either. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. My name is Smitty, the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit, and that is your sports smack. This is this is baby radio, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, this is like you know when uh, what was it? The Archies? They they put out the special <laughs> baby, baby Archies. Archies. Yeah. This is baby radio. <laughs> baby yeah, radio. Like the voice is like a little yeah. like baby. <laughs> I'm Schmitty. I have former artist formerly known. He got a little chuckle out of it. Yeah. I'm that he said Schmitty, it again about much. himself. They don't even talk like human beings. No. Human fucking beings. They're like, uh, uh, That's uh. what I think is upsetting you the, the, the most, is that they're, they're not... I think any radio guys that ha have that... You know, hey. I hate the, yeah. the fake it's, uh, yeah. it's not a... It's something that you go, wow, how can you hold that up? And yeah, it's what? like, it, that's what it is. It's like, they're not saying nothing, you know, super bad or super good, but it's just... Yeah, but it's just a thing that they we were doing. getting some. We were getting some things done down there, and to be replaced by it's this such is what well, bothers me. Well, some people don't want reality, man. You guys, are, you know, you try, you 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 speak. It's not you want a they, thing. They just want basic. They death. just need Safe that. Some shit. people, because yeah, you know, oh. you know, most of the most of the guys that come on here, man, you know, comics, dude, they'll tell you it's like the people. If you out there with the people, they they're fucking stupid. Like they're not begging. For what you give, they're begging for two guys going. Hey, Colin, it's comfortable. They don't want to uh, go nowhere. They don't want to uh, think, man. It's such a hack. But well, it's, it's scary business for for some normal people to fucking well, listen normal. Hey. Well, we're on to uh, later in the show. Loper and Schmitty take a spontaneous live phone call. Then we get a Lopewiser. What's this about? <laughs> a spontaneous. Uh, Something tells me he's being sarcastic. No, they're just hanging out in the studio, and they figure, well, I'd go to the phones and see who's there. And luckily, this person is cool enough to get a Lopewiser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. More phoniness as they take a pre-recorded phone call. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, as a... There's certain comics, dude, that I get the same feeling. It's not that you hate 
Smitty and low you there's ten million of those guys. That's what's bothering yeah. why, you you why would you want hate why wouldn't you want something different and real on your radio station? You hate the people. Like yeah. you hate people for even accepting that. Like this comment. Yeah, anybody that I who likes this, I would I would like punch in the face. Like you you couldn't I wouldn't be able to hang out with anybody that listened to a show like this. No. All right, here we go. The spontaneous phone call. Uh, phones are ringing. Let's uh, take a call. 103.1 The Buzz, hello. Hey, listen, I got a trivia for you. Wait, you're asking us trivia questions? Like, real quick. Wait, what's your name? Yeah, nice My cut. name's Sunshine. What, do you want to stump the morning buzz? Wait, do I win a Sunshine morning well, buzz prize pack? I do want to stump the morning buzz, actually, <laughs> but this is like some old school metal <laughs> All right, go, go, hold on, hold on, Stop. go, hold on. First of all, <laughs> there's a massive sloppy cut in the beginning. He goes, all right, uh, uh, he goes to the phones, and then she, she says something. It's a she? Yeah. I like yeah. She, she, she says something, and then it's cut off very abruptly because she must have said something that didn't fit the call or whatever. And then... Let me let me also uh, fill you in on this little tidbit of radio. There's no way to bleep a live phone call. If someone curses, there's no way you can bleep that. You can dump out of it, but there's nothing that can put a beep in over the curse when you're taking a live call. This is a recorded call that he is very, uh, uh, in a phony way, trying to pass off as live. My mistake. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, Sam. Sam. Uh, phones are ringing. Let's uh, take a call. 103.1 The Buzz. Hello. Hey, listen. I got a trivia for you. Wait, you're asking us trivia what? questions? <laughs> like, real quick. Wait, what's your name? My name's Sunshine. What, do you want to stump the morning buzz? Wait, do I win a Sunshine morning well, buzz prize pack? Well, I do want to stump the morning buzz, actually, <laughs> but this is like some old school metal <laughs> Or stuff. All right, well, we can't All wait. Right. Go ahead. Bring that old school metal stuff. Stuff, yeah. Stuff, go. The boys are telling me that the lead singer from Quiet Riot passed away. Dead. Yeah. And we do not know his name. His name's Kevin Dubrow. Kevin Dubrow, guys. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, are, are you guys, dear. like, are you up partying right now? What are you doing? Yeah, we're, yeah, we are, actually. Oh, you're up from the night before? Yes, sir. Oh, well, yeah, congratulations. And we're getting ready to go out and get some more beer. Yeah, well, um, you might want to take a cab. Well, Drinking and driving going. is kind of frowned upon. And you know, know what? And it's oh, really great advice. to have you guys good back advice. in the morning, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, uh, hey, here's a Lopewiser for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. You, oh, God, just smack me. You talk about me. that drinking and driving shit if you work for an AC station, like yeah, a family-friendly hey. radio station. If you're working on a station called The Buzz where it's about alternative rock and living that alternative, like, you know, you're a rocker and stuff, you, you don't want your morning show going, hey, hey, safety first. He's got two awesome kids. He doesn't want them getting hurt from a drunk drivers. Oh, drink and drive. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, I just don't think a Lopewiser's worth that much. They give it out for anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to think it really doesn't make much of a... Well, there's no value to it? No. I'm disappointed. Oh, guys. <laughs> a Lopewiser. What the fuck? Well, it's time now for the dirty word spelling bee. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the dirty word spelling bee out there on the bleachers? I hope Thumbs so. Up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, Loper and Schmitty explain the rules. And and give the first word. What's this about, Sam? Okay. Well, it's a. They get a little edgy. Uh, oh wow. They kind of. I mean, this is where I kind of was like, you know what? Maybe these guys do know what they're doing. All right. All right. Let's All give right, it, Sam. Let's give him a chance. Here we go. Welcome to a game we call Dirty Word Spelling Bee. Here's how it goes, fellas. I'm going to give you a word, a dirty word. Where's the bed? Very simple. All you have to do is say the word. Spell the word, and then say the word again in spelling bee fashion. Just like school, man. The first one to get three correct will be the winner in today's Dirty Word Spelling Bee. All right, Josh from Green Acres, you will be first. Smitty with the first word in Dirty Word Spelling Bee. Are you ready, Josh? I'm ready. All right, Josh. Your first word <laughs> in the Dirty Word Spelling Bee is scrotum. Scrotum, S. C R O T U M. That's scrotum. correct. Scrotum. Yes. Proper spellage of scrotum. Josh from Green Acres nail in the scrotum. Mm. 
It's not uh, spelling. It's spellage. It's spellage. And I don't think it's about the spelling thing. I really think it's about saying the dirty word. I think that's the edgy part. It's pretty outrageous to say scrotum. I don't think they're really trying to educate show. people. Scrotum. He said scrotum. Not as outrageous as saying cunt. But, right. Uh, scrotum. Okay. Oh. And, and, and he nailed the scrotum. Yeah. What's yeah. that about? Like Schmitty Ball's scrotum <laughs> is in <laughs> Lopester's mouth. That would be the loper, the lop, lopster. He pops a lope cock. <laughs> lope scrotum. <laughs> well, it continues. Uh, of course. Go ahead, it I'm does. ready. Rick from Gardens. Your first word in the dirty word spelling Venus? is. Genital herpes. Genital herpes is the next word. All right, go ahead, Rick. Two words. All right. Uh, Genital herpes. (laughs) It's G E N I T A L H E R P E S. Genital herpes. Genital herpes. Yeah. Both of these guys very skilled in the ways of dirty word spelling bee. Holy mother of God. I, I, I. We're almost done. I'm beside myself here. I'm just, I cannot accept that there are shows like this on the air. I can't. I can't accept that there's a company and PDs out there that are willing to allow our show to be replaced by this. Well, that's it. That's, let, that's, them, let, them, let them fly. <sighs> Josh, your next word in the dirty word spelling bee is... Erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. Excellent word, Smitty. Go ahead. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Just laugh at E-R-E-C-T-I-L-E. erectile dysfunction. R E C T I L E D I S F U N C T I O N. Erectile dysfunction. Spelled dysfunction. Incorrect dysfunction is D Y S F U N. C-T-I-O-N. All right, to Rick in Gardens for the lead, man. Here you go, Rick. Your big chance here. Dirty Word Spelling Bee, Smitty, with the next word. All right, Rick, your next word in the Dirty Word Spelling Bee. like how he does that with his voice. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Everybody loves it. Uh, That's a hard one. (laughs) Why would you just say everybody loves it? It's gonorrhea. Hard one to get rid of. G-O-N-O. Right. R-R-H-E-A. Killed it. Very nice spelling of gonorrhea. (laughs) All right. Okay. I, I I gotta go. I can't. I can't take this. Sometimes you just let the audio play, and it says a lot. Oh, it's geez. so easy just to yell and scream at this point, but uh, why bother when you can just enjoy the awfulness yourself? This replaced us. This replaced us. Josh, your next word in dirty word spelling bee is. Fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Go ahead, That's Josh. a dirty Ridiculous word. Number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fallopian tube. That isn't even a dirty listen, word. They, they should call this official medical term spelling word. Right. Like, it's not dirty. That's not dirty. Fallopian me, tube is dirty? Let me, let me tell you something, man. Dirty. Yeah. Gaping is dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. Fist fuck is dirty. Fist fuck. Yeah. Let's think of a few more dirty words here. Uh... Oh man. You know balls what? deep. Leaking <laughs> vagina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pussy pussy oh. cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stretched labia. Yes. <laughs> um <laughs> A- anything but fallopian tube. That's that's a fucking Shit biology. Ca- shit cavity. <laughs> hey, you know I'm listening to this shit and I'm and I'm and I'm you know bobbing in and out you know. But these guys sound like motherfuckers that used to be officially like, hey, how are you? Hey, Greg, how are you? And how are you? And someone said you have to get edgier to come back on the air. Right. These guys are forcing edge. There's yeah. some people that do it naturally, like the sports cast. You can hear the ones that do it like they just are, are miserable, but it's for real. <laughs> yeah. And then you get the guys that's trying to go, whoa, hey, I'm going to. Ah. These guys are just trying too hard. This is not them, man. Somebody put them up. Matter of fact, y'all should talk to them. Somebody put them up. 
to fucking with y'all and fucking with Howard Stern. Someone did that. Someone said this oh, is yeah. right. They didn't want to the do progr- that. They do everything the program director says. They That's what do their, that their job is. So the program director tells them what to do, and they will do it. They'll right. fucking jump in a Because if you second. notice, they said O and A, and then they go, the comedy little bitch, which is... In radio world, Norton really is the little bitch. Norton, his position is the little bitch, the the comic guy. But Norton's not a little bitch, so they don't listen to the show. They don't know that they shouldn't say certain things. They just go, okay, they have a little comic. They didn't go, O and A, you punk motherfuckers, yeah, yeah. we're coming after you. They say, O and A left, and their little bitch... Because that's who they can fuck with, they figure. You know what I mean? Yeah. These guys, man, are not, they're not, it ain't even their fault that they're on the radio. <laughs> this has nothing to do with them. This is, they're a victim of circumstance, and they're going to get attacked. And the company that's trying to replace y'all with them is going to realize that they're not going to be able to handle that shit well, every day coming off welcome the top of their to, head. Welcome to the fucking war. Welcome to the trenches. This is the fucking replacement that gets brought in and fucking gets shot. You see this piece of shit? <laughs> this, look at this lump of shit. Lump of shit. Well, I, I gotta, tag him and tag him. I gotta, I gotta hear how you spell fallopian. I always wanted to know. Yeah. Josh, your next word in Dirty Word Spelling Bee is fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Go ahead, Josh Green Acres. You're on. F. Fallopian tube. <laughs> S A L L O P E A N space T U V E fallopian tube. Josh, you are absolutely horrible at this game. It is actually F A L L O P I A N T U B E. All right, we have one more here. This will be for the win. Oh, thank God. i got to pick a good one. Dirty pick word. A, I mean, make this the best because uh, oh, Rick gosh. from Gardens, dude, if you win, oh, we're going to hook you up with a Beowulf IMAX experience, man. You're going to get to check out Beowulf in IMAX 3D. You go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> they send you to the fucking movies. You save 10 bucks. That's wow. the prizes wow. that they were bragging about? You go to the fucking movie? <laughs> and nobody... Maybe they throw in some popcorn. You never oh, know. Nobody... God. Large soda. Nobody would ever do this bit without sarcasm. Right. Who was really right edgy. Yeah. Like there's no way. Like this is this is ridiculous and this is dead serious. And yeah. here's here's the thing. Listen to the callers, man. This is the fucking simpletons are like, oh fuck. And they're not even, look at these motherfuckers, and they're not even, they don't even have a dictionary in front of them or whatever to just spell it right. Like, this is, this is great for them. They're, it's unoffensive because, I'm going to tell you something, dude, and they, I, I'm, you know how I am about this type of shit. It, it's just ballless. They're, they're, they're taking ballless. slowly but surely any sem- semblance of a guy being a guy. Right. And at, at, at a show the other day, a motherfucker said to me, he said it, what I said was inappropriate. And I said, any guy who says the word inappropriate, men are supposed to be inappropriate. Yeah. Any guy who would say that means that he's a fucking bitch. And the only time you should ever think about the word inappropriate is when you're doing bitchy shit. Like if you, you ever think you had to take a shit, and but you just had to piss... And you was just sitting there and with your dick between your legs, pissing in the toilet. And you just looking around like, fuck me. I feel like a bitch. <laughs> this is inappropriate. This is inappropriate right now. <laughs> Bitches think the word inappropriate. Yeah. These guys, for them to do this, they're so company that there's no... Fellas, I'm telling you, you should just get these motherfuckers a pass. No, nah, can't. No. Can't give him a pass. No, it's the way. I implore you they to give these guys to, a pass. It's the way of I implore Anthony. you. They need to be spanked. And they and they are going to be. It's not they even going to be. They need to be spanked. It's not even going to be fun. You can hear it, dude. They don't want nothing. I, I want to see them under fire and see how they <laughs> fucking react. They're going to be cowering no little no, faggots. No chance. 
How can they get out of this? Let's talk about this. There ain't no way out. How can they get out? Uh, of it's this? not even about. It's it's a much bigger issue. It's just bigger. Yeah. What's the big? I don't know. The, the first thing about these hacks. What's the what's yeah. the issue? The the, the the issue is that uh, the this is where the radio world's going, and we're gonna fight right to the last fucking minute. They represent. They represent what, what radio what this is has become in this day and age. This business has become bitch shit. Bitches. Safe. Who gives Bitches. a shit? Radio. There's a there's a trend to go back to local programming, and it's like okay, if you're gonna go local, then you know, make it interesting. This isn't interesting local programming. Not to your local, but West Palm. This is with not these, interesting to local fucking. It's eighty million anywhere. Anywhere. Okay, white where people. You are. Dude, what are they doing? Not listening to alternative rock. Here we go. Oh, that's so. Is it yeah. alternative rock? That's right. That's this right. is the last clip. Trust me. Let's see what the <laughs> amazing word they came up with as the okay. final. Uh, and and y'all, I will say this: that you are both. Officially, thoroughly annoyed too, because it's not even a a drop of really joke. <laughs> oh it, no, no, it's no! Just it's disgust. just disgust. Because you and a lot of people out there don't understand. Like I'm telling you, I'll say it again: the meetings, the phone calls. Like ah, oh, fuck. You, you know, we were warned over six, eight months ago we we're going to be replacing West Palm Beach, and I kept like fighting for us, going, "Come on, man!" And uh, when does it happen? Well, they haven't really found anyone yet. But when they do, you guys are going to be replaced. I'm like, well, that fucking blows right there. We're being replaced by a show they don't even know about yet. So they finally make their decision. There's a long time coming, and I'm thinking, all right, they finally found some fucking really good show. Heavy, heavy hitter. Heavy hitters. And this, and then you turn around and wake up, and you have to hear this is what you were replaced by. It fucking isn't. It hurts. Let me ask you one more question. Honest. This is honest to the core question. Has there ever been in any situation where you guys were replaced and you thought that the people that replaced you were good? Oh, I swear to God, no. I'm trying to think. No. No, not one. No. Now, I mean, could could there possibly be one that would be no. where you would go, no, oh, he was okay. Not, not no. a one. I, I watched the uh, radio stations that replaced us, and they're doing nothing since we left. And they, they were... Not that we were getting massive ratings, but we did uh, just as good, if not better, than the, the shows that replaced us at this point. I study this shit. Trust me. There's not a not a fucking show that comes to mind that replaced us. Not a one. The final word is blue balls. <laughs> blue balls. <laughs> All right, Rick Gardens, nail it, bro. Blue balls. B L U E. B A L L S. And I believe we have a winner with the proper spelling blue ball. Hard. Rick from Gardens, you are the winner today in Dirty Word Spelling Bee. Josh, I'll tell you what, man, we'll hook you up with the Morning Buzz prize pack. Everybody's a winner. You guys tell me who's rocking it with music uh, and the winner. new Morning Buzz. The listener, Looper and Smitty on 103.1. The Morning Buzz. <laughs> Looper and Smitty. <laughs> the Morning Buzz. <laughs> Blast it right over the guy <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Who rocks? Uh, let us know. Um, Loper and the <laughs> yeah, Marty Buzz. I was talking here. We got to use the deep voice guy to make this show sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ramon. More lasers to make these guys sound cool and edgy. Let's throw some echo in there as well. Oh, that was... Um, Let's say hi to Drew in Nashville. Good. Drew, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think these guys make a pretty good point. You know, they want to establish a base with their audience, talking about their kids, and... <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone's nodding off. Yeah, Louie in Texas. Speed round here. we got to take a break, get into other things. What's up, Louie? Uh, well, Lope, I'm just uh, barreling down a Texas highway with about 80,000 pounds with uh, enjoying my morning Lopewiser trying not to kill anybody. <laughs> well, uh, well that just, change I the station. Just, I just see a connection here, though, Lope, um, to the Opie and Anthony show. Is it just me, or do these two douches sound exactly the same, and they sound like Ralphie May? They sound exactly the same, and they sound like baby DJs. Like there's a weird thing yeah, going on. Like baby versions of they're, DJs. They're putting on that uh, that voice, but they if you put on yeah. the fake voice, first of all, you're supposed to you know go deep. I guess yeah. they can't go deep. Like uh, it's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> ah, yeah, ah. Opie and Anthony, we're on XM Satellite Radio. Thanks for checking us out today. You go down to this level, not I. Ah, ah, yeah. yeah. I've been I've been run out of twenty different interviews. Like you, you know, you go to some town, you go to and 
and I never have a good interview with those dudes. Yeah, what, what dudes? Like, and, and at the that, deep, what, deep voice guys and with the <laughs> always happens, n Never fails. Ready? I yeah. say something that tries to be halfway uh, comply with the fact I can't swear and halfway edgy, and they go. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, Patrice okay. is going to be at the... the okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Patrice. He's going to be at the Chuckle Hut this at week. The, uh, the, the, the laugh cunt. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, we uh, we want to make believe we're edgy, but when someone actually is edgy on our show, then there's a real problem. we got to get rid of the guests right away. So, okay. coming up, we can bring in the fake edginess. We're going to do your mandatory metallic. I want to thank Patrice O'Neill for stopping by. Make sure you check him out this weekend at the Chuckle Hut because they're a sponsor of our show and they bring the comedians in every Friday to be edgy. But we don't want actual edgy material. Uh, Brian Springwater. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, I want to spell cunt on the air. <laughs> Please spell it with a K just so we can all laugh. <laughs> okay, we can spell it with a K. <laughs> Because that would be outrageous. Off. That's crazy. All right. hey, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Sean, Michigan, what's right up? You did, though. I hey, swear are I did, you sure though. there's uh, two DJs there? Because it sounds like Jimmy Fallon in the man of the box. Hey, man of the box. Um, hey, and we're black. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's what we got replaced by. And it, uh, it doesn't feel good today. Uh, let's go to Patricia, Patricia, uh, North Carolina. Yeah, uh, I was agreeing with Opie. Just people are just horrid. I mean, I mean, they sound so fake and stupid. And at least y'all are honest and intelligent. Y'all may be horrid at times, but I just discovered yeah. y'all about two weeks ago. <laughs> y'all, I just love y'all. Anyone else getting the irony here? Please love it. Okay. Just love it. And tell Opie. They all sound fake and stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, we sound all stupid, don't we? You sound fake and stupid yourself. <laughs> to make sure he gets a GPS for that stalker lady. Oh, uh... Make her wear, make, when, he, when he gets a restraining order right. for that stalker lady from yesterday, yeah. make sure they put a bracelet on her. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, uh, that weirdo. That's creepy, man. All right. Sorry again. Thank you, Patricia. I thank you. Bye-bye. All right, let's see. <laughs> that was so fun. Fiking stupid. Fiking stupid. Stupid. Shane, Kansas, what's up? Hey, I just want to know when uh, Anthony became the pen and teller of, of radio. Uh, let me tell you how this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me, let me. Uh, that was kind of this funny. This is bullshit. All right, let me uh, tell you what's going on here. There's a bad edit that's going to happen right now. You're going to hear the, the bad call, edit, which we and the beep you're going to hear. I wonder if that was way too inside because we used to have to cut up phone calls. Yeah, they take all the calls. Every call you hear on that show is taken when the music is playing. Uh, sometimes, as a matter of fact, you might even be able to hear the previous song <laughs> in, the in the background, because they which were, is hysterical. They weren't smart enough to turn down the monitor. To turn the monitor down. But, but uh, all the calls are taken during the songs, and then they edit them during the songs, and then when they come out of songs and talk, they play it back as if it's a call. And he's actually acting when he goes, let's uh, go to the phones. We got some here. Hey, uh, blah, 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 you're on the air. And then he hits the tape machine, and it's the person going, hi. Wah, 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 wah. Why are you looking at me and explaining it to me? Um, because uh, <laughs> you are the audience. Oh. You are my audience. All right, I'm... good. <laughs> well, let me, let me do the audience then for okay. you. Okay. <laughs> He's making the universal sign for jerking off. <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just fucking so taken by it. All right, people are still doing that. Let's go to Jeff in Tennessee. Jeff? Yeah, the reason why you guys are took off the air is because, uh, and I don't think took you guys him, realize sorry. it, took him. you spend more than half your time whining and complaining. Mm -hmm. So-and-so said this. So-and-so mm -hmm. did this. I'm upset with them. Who Safe. wants to turn on their radio Safe driving to work Frankes. for an hour? Say Frankus. Nothing but whining little bitches. Say Frankus. Complaining all the fucking time. It uh, gets old. We got uh, you. Yeah, say really? say Frankus. Say Frankus. Let me say Frankus. Let me tell you where. Let me tell you where you made your mistake. Oh, no, no. I'm upside. Guess what? Guess what they said. Let me, no, let me tell no. you where you made your mistake. You said, who would want to turn on their radio to hear? And my answer would be you. Yeah. In Tennessee. And then he hangs up. Let, uh, the, let, the, let the jury see that uh, he gave up. See, so you're not going to mess with someone else. Because he had I'm, nothing. I'm going to let you said Baba Booey for the next 40 minutes, you tour. That would have been fun. Just have him in the background. Take other calls. 
You're not uh, going to win the OCD battle ever. Uh, Jeff in Atlanta, what's up? Hey, not much. These guys must be still be thinking, Rich, because that voice I hear in every strip club I've ever been in. Wow. Ah. Yeah. That's right. Coming to the stage right now is the beautiful Portia. Now you give her a big hat as Portia coming to the stage. You missed the obvious thing. Though. Yeah. Hey, this is Loper and Schmitty. Loper and Schmitty, we're hosting uh, tonight. We don't get paid enough, so we got to do all these bar games. Here at the Titty Hut. <laughs> we have a lot of loop wisers. We're going to be opening up. Let me get a loop wiser. Hey, we got three oh, balls. Can't give me one at the same time as the song, you faggot. <laughs> Well, rest assured, we're drinking Lopewizers <laughs> as Portia makes her way out on the stage. No truth oh. to the rumor that um, Sean Taylor took the easy way out, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, we got a communique coming in. Oh? If you want, not from me. Use this from an industry insider. Mm hmm. An industry insider says... See, now I'm using it as an industry insider. Yes. That's the brilliance of me. Although I read the first part first. So you know who it's from. Well, not really, though. Oh. An industry insider says the following. I have never heard a show full of more cliches in my life. Ant was dead on about the sound effects. Hack. What's uh, MNF theme? What's that? Monday Night Football. Yeah. Oh, the Monday Night Football theme while talking about the game. Jeopardy theme during trivia. Bong sounds during Wake and Bake trivia. Horrendous. They are more of a parody of morning show radio than your weekly bits. Well, we started the weekly bits to make fun of the fact that this shit actually happened. Yeah. Uh, what the hell are they thinking with this? That's from a radio insider. Industry insider. I mean, industry insider. It is a uh, a parody yeah. of a, of an actual morning show. Like, you listen to it and can't imagine that that's a real morning show. Yeah, maybe in two weeks they're going to be like, gotcha. Like, yeah, yeah. Now, that would be genius to just go, dudes, we gotcha. Fuck. That's we, what we got to do next we time. Yeah. All right. We'll probably be fired soon. And then when we, like, resurface, <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. And then we just get on and do that type of radio, straight-faced, all the production, not one bit of sarcasm. That's for right. For two weeks. And then we just go, uh, we got you. If you are listening to that and enjoyed it, get the fuck off our station. <laughs> go away. You need to listen to 20 on 20. They're too good at or... doing th this badly to be putting it on. I don't know. Would we be able to even do it that badly? Mm. We should try one day. We should really just try a day of, of complete hack radio to see if it's even possible if we're that good of, we could, of actors we could do it after the break yeah <laughs> we need we would even but we need to beds hour. yeah that would and, and questions mm. i don't know if i could do it yeah <laughs> oh my god oh my god that's that's what that's what um is in west Point. all the arguing and phone calls and this is this and is that's what it is and this is what replaced us that's it Holy shit. And then people say that I'm so destructive and losing my mind. But I'm not losing my mind. Oh, Prince Smitty. You are it for yourself. I'm not losing my mind. Smitty Balls, formerly. What? Whisker basket? Biscuit. Biscuit basket. Why doesn't anyone Whisker. ever see it my way? Whisker. Why? The Lopeness Monster. <laughs> Forgot about the Lopeness Monster. But I'm the one that's insane. Yeah. They told me that. But they replaced us with me. <laughs> when they're right, mine would understand this. I don't get it. Oh, my God. Well, is that, uh, is that it? Yeah. Thank God. That might end the Loper and Schmitty bit because... Yeah, because I can't see anything new coming out. We played two days and they were exactly the same. All right, look. How about this, Sam? Mm -hmm. If you bring us Loper and Schmitty audio, it has to be like top shelf shit. Top notch. Top, top notch. None right. of that none of that cheap vodka. We got to go fucking top shelf. Right. No bar rack, Schmitty. No. <laughs> so we want a nice Guinness, something nice. Yeah. One more day of listening to... Uh, but it has to be top. One more day. Top shelf vodka. Look, 
No. I think I missed some in the bathroom, but I don't know if this suggestion is already made. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys, right? This would be yeah. fun. Uh -huh. And if I could possibly join in. Oh, it's just do an entire... Hey, hi, ho, show. <laughs> okay. Did you already suggest that? Are you uh, feeling all right? Yeah. I was That's in the bathroom. exactly what I no, said. No, you were sitting there the whole time. I'm... I, I said, fucking went to take a piss in that smelly bathroom. Oh, you might have Alzheimer's. All right, I'm just making sure, and I'd like to join in. I really would like yeah. to join right, in the Hey about, Hi Ho. How about very Hey hard. Hi? Four hours of it. How about Hey Hi Ho? You, we do it next. We I want to hey do a ho. whole show, but it's it. It's we we need prep. Ugh. We need like <laughs> like hack prep, which is. Hard to come by. Actually, it's pretty easy. You just get that stupid. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, let's uh, get this on the air. Oh, um, all right. Jim on Long Island. What's up, Jim? Oh, and hey, how are you? Hey, buddy. Hi. Listen, I, I just had to wake myself up from a nap. I finally got through to this coal screener down there, and this jagass is actually trying to explain to everybody why they're good and why O and A like really didn't take off down there. I says I'd rather jam knitting needles in my eyes and listen to these two parents. Well, what was, hold on, let's be. What was his answer? His answer was that we really never got O and A down here. We were really a rock hard station, and uh, you know we're really trying to get the rock message across. Plus, he spent about five minutes trying to figure out where I was from. Apparently, uh, the pests were doing their job and getting through to him and uh, annoying him a little but bit. But that's yeah. not rock. Station type host? No, they didn't, they that's didn't. like I'm not kidding. I, 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 that would be like I've been around uh, a bit. That would be like top forty in like the Poconos, right? And that'd be I like top forty radio and possibly the Poconos. Seriously, I remember listening to Opie on BAB when they were. Dude, look, man, I've come. Man, a, hold man. on, hold on. I will defend myself. I. I've come a long way since BAB, absolutely, but I absolutely. never fucking did this shit. No way, that's what I'm saying. These guys are a pair of assholes. I always try to be a bit edgy and, and try to be myself. You know, I was I was scared of PDs and stuff back then, so maybe I wasn't able to give it my all back in the day. But I never went down this fucking road like they're doing. Listen, no. guys, keep, keep up the good work. You guys are the best, and uh, the FDNY loves you, all right? All right. Hey, thanks, sir. Okay. Back in the Thank day, you, back in the day, I actually had a contest where the first person to kidnap a 7-Eleven foreign worker that didn't speak English got Grateful Dead tickets. And yeah. It wasn't, and it wasn't fake, like, oh, all right, well, let's get some intern or some fucking receptionist to play the part. F fucking two people, I think they were two girls, I don't remember anymore, dragged a lady. She was in her 7-Eleven uniform and barely spoke English. Had no into idea the why studio. she was there. Had no fucking idea. <laughs> And, and I handed the, the dead tickets over to the, the girls, and we gave her a few bucks and said, get lost, get back to your job. But these are the people, look, man, these are the dudes that go like this. When you have discussions about things that bother you as a human being, these dudes go, hey, man, it's a paycheck. And and mm. what what's bothering you right now is that you you have some type of ethic, and it's fucking you up. Just don't give a fuck and go, hey there, hi there, ho there, unless that's the case. You're going to be all fucked up. These dudes don't, they're just going to go, hey, because there's somebody told, they may have pain in their heart, oh, but they don't give a only, fuck. Can only hope. Dude, we're we're fighting the good fight because we're losing a lot of markets to shows like this right now because uh, the trend is to go local. But I, The trend I, is to go pussy. That's what but all bitchy. I'm saying is if you're going to go local, you know, don't replace us with shitty fucking shows and then expect me to understand and not uh, call you out on it. But if they weren't local, local shows, that... Who gives they a shit? No they just should have break them with Dolphins. The Dolphins are 0 and 11. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? That's what I'm saying. They're not. They. There's no national fucking dudes. They're in fear because they know local dudes will just do what they're told. Yep. You're I, not. They, local and, dudes will just go hey hi ho. That's what they'll fucking do. They're not gonna challenge the system. And you know what? Now we will get in trouble for talking about this over here. I will get calls now today. It's like, but what do you? Shame. And I would, I would say, what do you expect from me? Do you understand our position? How frustrating this this is to us? That we work our balls off to be a little different and, and interesting, and you replace us by hack shit? Hack shit? Why? All right, we'll move on to other things. Yeah, why don't we take a uh, break so I can take a leak? Yeah, leakies. 
Agent Dr. Leaky. Dr. Leaky? <laughs> Hit it. 